My name is Jerry Bailey with Jerry Bailey Enterprises. Before I got in this business, I was in the uh, portable toilet business, and I retired from that. I've been in I've been in sales and service all my life. I've done several different things. Uh, the last uh, thing that I was I have cattle now and and on a hog operation that I currently take care of. Uh, but I was in the portable toilet business for years, and I wanted to get to the point in my life where I didn't have to line out employees every day. So I sold that business, uh, me and my partner sold it, and I had seen a twice the ice, and I talked to my banker about it, and we decided, after pulling the figures, that the rural areas that I'm in, that, that was a little bit more money than we need to spend, so I went to looking at different places and with different on different websites and found cooler ice and some more, but after I evaluated it, the price range, and then after I talked to these people, Jeff Dyson, Kerry Seymour, uh, cooler ice was the one. I bought my first machine in 2009, which has been six years ago. It was a 510. Uh, within a year out, it got to where it wouldn't keep up, so I moved it to another location and put an 810 in it in its place. And the business outgrew the 810, so I put another ice maker on it because it will handle two, and uh, it does well. I have uh, six machines, and they're located in the in the I call them rural areas, and it is rural compared to to. Uh, bigger towns uh, such as Monroe. I have one in Columbia on Highway 165. About five miles down the road I have Grayson and that's where I put my 510. Then another 10 miles down on 165 is a little town called Ala. I have uh, 1,000 there. And then on, on in uh, what they call Mangum, Louisiana on Highway 15 I have another 810 with two ice makers on it. And uh, in West Monroe, which is a big area, but I'm in outskirts of West Monroe. Uh, I have one close to Duck Dynasty uh, at the Ike Coliseum. And then I have one out uh, on the outskirts on Red Cut Road on, in Highway 557. They all do very well. When I first got in this business, uh, I did, I run a few ads in the local papers and then I, uh, that, uh, had me some signs made and some banners and uh, I was always I've always been in sales and services of some, some kind all my life and uh, I knew the location was very important and I knew that I had to have easy in and easy out access for trailers, boat trailers, uh, log trucks and word of mouth helps you more than anything. If somebody calls you and they got a problem with that machine they didn't give them bag ice They've got it set up where you can get on your phone and say, hold on, hold it, I'll take care of this. You send them a bag of ice. I mean, it's, it's, it's good, and they are tickled to death. Well, they're going to tell somebody, oh, Jerry took care of me, you know. But if you don't take care of them, they'll tell 10 that he didn't take care of you. So, I tell you, I, if, I, if somebody, if I can't do it for them by phone, I'll, I'll get the address or tell them to text me their address. I'll send them a coupon or whatever, or money if I have to, whatever makes them happy, because I want them back. And uh, it's a good business. The favorite thing about the, this machine is that they make money and they're 24 seven. I mean, you can be, you can go out to eat that night or you can be doing what I do, which is other things like uh, my cattle business. You can be uh, take a vacation if you got somebody to kind of stand in for you, uh, but they're they're steadily working for you, 24/7, and you ain't got to have an employee there taking money for you. This machine takes care of it. All these machines are real easy to work on. Uh, they are compact, and and if you're mechanically inclined or got someone working for you that's mechanically inclined, they will. But I knew nothing about an ice machine six years ago but I can work on one. And I, I, I was mechanically inclined enough to work on it, but then I've learned how it works. And the, the loading the bags, uh, taking out motors, putting in motors, taking uh, electric motors, your gear drives, your braking chains, whatever happens. It's not gonna be a lot of that, but it will happen. And you gotta keep it going, especially during this time of the year. 
in the summer or year round because you don't want people driving up to your machine and it not working. Uh, they, uh, um, they, I've got RO in water, I've got R reverse osmosis, i got water on all my machines and an ice and all these, they, they keep the parts, they've got them, they can get them to you overnight and I can't emphasize enough that they're just, from the time the switchboard answers the phone, they, they're very courteous and they will help you. One of the, if not the most, uh, thing that really convinced me to go with Cooler Ice was, is, and, and that I'm happy with now, was their, their price of the machine. It was a good machine and after I, after I tried the one, I liked it so well that I got another one. And now, as I said, I have six. But the really, the other than them being a good machine, was their customer service. You can call Kerry Seymour. He is the president. You can call Jeff Dyson, the vice president. They will, if they don't answer the phone, which more likely they will, if they if they can. But if they don't, you leave them a message. They'll call you back. That's kind of unheard of in this world of today. Uh, you've got Tommy Rigby, very very knowledgeable. You've got Cleveland Hobbs, very knowledgeable, very good people to work with. Donnie Beeson, a distributor that I deal with a lot. Just, I don't know what, some days, he's, he's always there for me if I need him. Uh, the thing about them, even if it's a Friday night, or Saturday or Sunday, when everybody's shut down, they got somebody on the 800 line that's gonna answer that phone to help you. You may have a motor burn up or something that's not just doing right and you can't figure it out. Well, they, they know, because they deal with this every day. And uh, just, just some of the best people I've ever dealt with. If someone wants to get in the ice business, I think the if they want to work for their self, it's a good business, it's a 24-7 business. You're sleeping, it's still making money. Or you're off on vacation if you got somebody that can watch it for you, or whatever, you want some fine time with your family. You can do this, and they are, they're there all the time with no employee there that you got to pay to take the money. Uh, if you're looking for a good sideline, something to go along with your business that you're in, or if you're retired and want something else to do, this is the deal as far as I'm concerned. First thing, call Cooler Eyes. The next thing is research your location, get to a good location. You got to get started right because you want to get off on the right foot. You want to make sure that everything's in place, that Cooler knows what you need because a lot of these places don't have ice machines. That is an opportunity. This is the coming thing, ice machines. Uh, this is a good business, uh, uh, an investment that will pay you back. And uh, I'd say uh, it's just according to what kind of location you got, but they will make you money. And uh, it's one of the best things I've ever done.